I'm Israel from PKP. As I said, I as WAX research coordinator. I also work for PKPPS as a production and publication support. And I'm currently in the temporary, temporary transition between these roles. Okay. Uh, I started working with the internet in 1996, so I'm pretty old for many people here. Then I started to work with the Scholar Communication in 2002. In 2007, I started to work with the OJS. In this meantime, I was working with a virtual library catalog online. And I was just transforming or adapting uh, online OPEC to work on internet. And I discovered W3C protocol as a standards to be used in any device for even accessibility. And then I take these protocols, apply it to that interface, and I test it, and OK. Validated is everything worked pretty fine. But I had a friend who was an accessibility specialist and blind man. And I just sent to him to test. And he told me, have you used the protocols? Yes. Have you tested with a blind real person? No. <laughs> That's not working. But I'm a co totally compliant with protocols and standards and everything. And the validator said, told me, it's totally valid and compliant your code, but I haven't asked the real person or real users and the real people with disabilities, for example. Then I understand and learn two main, two principal, two main questions, two main lessons to my life. The first one, standards are the initial requirement for achieving disability, just the initial requirement, not the full requirement. And nobody uses what can be accessed, even if it's fully open and compliant. So when you say that my co your content is open and fully compliant, you need to test with the real users. I'm working with PKP as liaison of accessibility in the YWAX research. So we are trying to figure out how to be more, not just compliant, but how we can assess our interface. What content can, can be used in a journal currently? We have PDF galley, HTML of the journal and galley, video, audio, images. All this content can be used and can be provided as open access content. Anyone disagree? I think so, right? But what if it's open but not accessible or usable? Is it open really? And I'm here just make a real question for you to think about your content. Okay, my content is open but not accessible. Let's review. What is open access? It's not impaired by any financial, organization, legal, or even technical barriers to your content. And what is accessibility? It's breaking down barriers. So we have technical barriers in open access, and on the other hand, breaking down barriers on the accessibility field. So in summary, open access is use, remix, share content freely, right? But what if I try to read my PDF in two columns in me on my smartphone? I, I would make a, just an experiment here, but if you can just test your smartphone. But what, just one little detail. Who is here right-handed? Right, who is left-handed here? OK. Try to use this URL in smartphone with your, your hand. That's not main hand, OK? Just left this program right now, or your Facebook. Try to access here. And try to read it. Try to pinch it with your one hand as your main hand. Someone here has any disability that I cannot realize from here? Blind, impaired vision, no arm. OK. So disability is for everyone in this room, even if we are not a disabled person. And this is just a simple test to all users in this room. For some, it may be easier. For others, maybe not so easier. And I'm not asking for you to use a screen reader to read a PDF. And this is an accessible PDF, actually. And try to use just with your hand, that's your main hand, or the right hand, or left hand. Try to read it. Try to select the test. And this is a open access. It's compatible with an accessibility PDF. But if you just let this to this format PDF or not in a HTML or audio video, you are just excluding people or persons to use your content. So open, accessible, and usable is for, are meant for everyone, not for blind people, people with no arms, or deaf people, for everyone here. 
And someone, sometimes when you think about accessibility, we just, okay, the blind people or the deaf people. No, accessible for us, uh, because all of us here are aging, bad news, and sometime in your life, you are not seeing very well, hearing very nice, so accessibility is for us, even for the future. Our architect in my country is accessibility specialist for buildings. And she told me that if a place is not ready for everyone, this place is disabled, not the user, not the person. And that's because disability is a term that we don't realize. We are talking about mismatch. So in some point of your life, you'll be a mismatch design with some feature needed from a product. For example, now I'm above the forest and I need a glass for reading. So it's a mismatch design if I can read my smartphone. So I need to improve the font size of a smartphone. So being open and accessible is also part of our UX. And that's, I mentioned this in Vancouver and Library Publishing Forum, that the UX or the user experience is always present, is always here, it's like air. You don't realize you're breathing, but if you have a bad smell in the air, you realize. So we are just an uh, experiment, user experience, like the PKP conference, is a whole experience. And if you realize that this, my presentation is bad, you go, oh my gosh, it's really bad. <laughs> but if it's good, it's really good. But okay, I'm just presenting to you. And a bad experience is a cheap experience. So you cannot just, okay, I'm not having no experience here. No, it's still having experience. The food experience. Be here, sit in this place, sit experience. Listen to me, watching everything experience. Accessing your journal, try to read your content is experience. Open or close it, well, I hope it's open. It'll be still experience. So we have some efforts on PKP team, as Nate has pointed right now, to make the OGS more usable and accessible. And I want to say PKP team because accessible content, accessible initiatives need to make by a team. To make be useful and more mindful, you need, a, you need to have a team effort to make it work. Because if you just need work for accessibility, just Israel work for accessibility, won't work. I have to take a mindset for the whole team to make it really uh, make it work. So we have UIUX testing sessions to give us valuable insights as Nate show in the, that spreadsheet. We are having this year accessibility audit report with the people with the disabilities and no disabilities using smartphones, we have people using laptop, screen readers, different systems to test the OGS first read interface, and the next year we are testing the dashboard as well. And that start, and it starts in this year with a, someone in Sprint that addressed to us that we have in Canada uh, AODA as an actor for Ontario for websites and digital products that to be compliant with this regulation. So we are really working on this. And from this report, we now have uh, this accessibility project in GitHub, where Nate and I, we are addressing from the report this about 30 issues to work on the default theme. So we are hoping, working, and uh, really wanted to go this make right, to have the default theme accessible in a fully compliant way. That said, know what? Keep your content open access, please, okay? Don't close your content, okay? My second point, test your journal. Like, you can start with automatic validators, you can make manual tests, manual tests, and user tests. What is a manual test, what you make right now with a PDF? You can test your content. Just don't publish it. Okay, it's open and online, I'm done. No, make tests. With smartphone, on laptop, tablet, Screen. Have you anyone here as has used a screen reader sometime in your life? Okay, nice, nice. We have people here. Have you, have you tested screen reader in more than one system, like iOS, 
Linux, Windows. Okay, do it, do it. It's really useful. I have to do it after that my friend told me. So you need to test it. How, in you, how you feel how they use the internet. First of all, you just turn down your monitor and just put your uh, earphones in. Let us know your tests. We are here to work with the community. You need to know how you're testing, how it's going, any issue you find of about accessibility and usability, because we don't want to make uh, different fields. User experience just involving accessible, accessible and usable content. And now I think the open access should be considered that accessibility is part of it. Because you cannot use an open content if not usable and accessible. Thank you. Gracias.